Welcome to Shot Callers Esports presented by Fan XT. I'm Matt Hempstead, joined by Colin Mina, and we're going to discuss some of our most rage quitty <laughs> games. It's going to be an interesting conversation. Oh, very today. interesting. Um, but I'm going to lead off with one of my personal top rage quitty games. Weird sentence, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, League of Legends. I like to think I'm pretty decent at the game. Um, AD carry main myself, and one of the most frustrating things is when you're incredibly fed, yet there's more fed mid laner on the other team because he just keeps feeding, and then you just die instantly. Incredibly frustrating. And that's like one of my things about League, because I also rage so hard at this game. It's not so, I'm a bit luckier than you, because I, I try and main top. I at least am in a, alone in a lane, so I don't have to worry too much. Like if a jungler is kind of bad and is never coming up and helping me when I'm getting destroyed, like that's kind of, that's a bit my own fault. But whenever I play any other position, it's so hard to get a team that doesn't just treat you like absolute garbage. That's correct. Like the community is so frustrating because you could be like, oh, hey guys, this is my first time uh, playing support in a while. And they'll be like, oh my God, why? And then they'll just lose it and make you feel so bad about yourself the entire, and you could know that you're, you've are you lost within like 10 minutes, but it's like, well, gotta wait till I can uh, right. forfeit this game. That's not even rage quitting, that's just no, sad yeah, quitting. That's just sad. I'm depressed now, I've been made fun of. That's most of my league yeah. games. I'm 0-3 and I'm just getting absolutely yeah, destroyed it's just, for Well, why am I even trying this game again? I guess speaking of trying and not working out, I'm gonna go to my game and I'm gonna bunch a couple in here because it's all the Souls games and Bloodborne we're gonna put in here too. Most people have tried them. A lot of people have heard horrific things about them and for good reason because it is so hard to play this game and not get mad at least once. This is the most unforgiving series of games in the world. Basically, if you die, you have a chance to run back to your body and pick up all your stuff. Now, your body could be at the very end of the map and everything respawns, so you have to fight your way without your souls all the way back to your body. If you die anywhere along the way, everything is gone. But at the same time, when you sign up to play Dark Souls, you know, yeah, you know. that it's gonna be impossible and I'm gonna hate myself well, in like, a few seconds. I remember the first time Demon Souls came out, I'm like, oh, I love medieval things. It's so cool. Like the, you have to find the story in the games, which is really interesting. But then going to try and find the story, you end up encountering enemies that are just impossible. Some of them, they, they never tell you like, oh, here's a simple way to beat it. No, it's always such a struggle to figure out how to beat these bosses. It's a frustrating game. Another very frustrating game for me is Hearthstone. Uh, I was able to reach Legend on, on one occasion, which nice. is a, a big achievement, well, I know. Yeah, but yeah, at the same safe. time- I'll take that all day. At the same time, it's just, Again, you can get terrible draws right off the top. You know, you get all your five and six mana cards and then you just lose the game or you're completely locked into the win except that one guy has that one out. So, you know, 5% chance that he's gonna screw you over. And of course, he does every time. It, it's, you can have the best deck in the game and still you're playing a card game. So you could draw, it's, it's like, Hey, I'm gonna play Magic the Gathering and I just draw all land. You have the best deck in the world, all land. Hearthstone is the same way. It's a little easier if you have a bad draw, but still, you could know right off the bat that you're gonna lose. You could play like, well, it's not as in style anymore, but a Zoo Warlock and you just know right off the bat that it's like, well, I'm not gonna win this. It's a simple card game. It should always be easy and fun, but it isn't always easy and fun. On top of that, I'm an impulsive buyer. <laughs> oh no. So, you know what? I'm gonna buy packs some packs. On packs. Oh, of course. Uh, maybe I'll get a legendary. Well, common in the. It's like, skin, rare. It's like skins and loot boxes. They're just, oh, when they put. I can't. Loot crates, I can't handle it. No. Something that just implemented that not too long ago, but I wish they didn't because there goes all my money. And this is one of my frustrating Rage Quick games Rocket League. Specifically 1v1 Rocket League, although, like pretty much any online game, if you get a bad team in like threes or twos, is just over. If you get that one person's like, no, I'm gonna go for the ball. Well, we should really rotate and you should go in net. No, I, I just go for the ball, I'm an attacker. Thanks. So that can happen, but really it's 1v1s that frustrate me the most because it's all the face off. If you mess up the face off, you've lost. If you go down one point, it's so hard to get that comeback. The server issues, <laughs> I could go on and on about Rocket League and how frustrating this game is. Speaking of games I've deleted, that's Overwatch for me. I, there's so many people on your team the, that something's gonna go wrong and it always does. I know so many people and I've seen streamers too complain about that this is their most rage quit game, which for me, 
I don't know, like I see games like CS, like out of the first person shooters, like there's some COD games. I get why people are so upset about Overwatch because the meta, it's constantly changing right now. It's not quite there. Sometimes three tanks makes more sense. And you're trying to explain that to somebody who's like, no, I want to play Hanzo. You're like, please God, we're on defense. It doesn't make sense. We're like, we're trying to stop this payload. There's a lot of corners. Why are you playing Hanzo? I might be getting upset right now, but I don't it get seems upset. Like you are. I swear I don't get upset in game. Yeah, I'm but, gonna play Attack Torbjorn right now. Yeah, because exactly. Why so not? many times you'll have people be like, no, Attack Bastion, trust me. No, I it doesn't. It doesn't work. Yes, I don't believe you. So I get why people are upset about it, especially too, because you get the Olympic skins, and I didn't get all the Olympic skins. When are the Olympic skins gonna come back? Next Never. Olympic? Yeah, yeah. am four I gonna have to wait? Yeah, am I gonna have to wait four years to get a skin? I want Soldier 76 golfing, Blizzard. Well, anyways, Rocket League. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's uh, recap. Overwatch, <laughs> League of Legends, Hearthstone. That, those are our most rage quitted games. You just made me realize that Overwatch is now an upsetting game for me. I'm, yeah, I'm so I changed your mind. I'm sad. Well, let us know in the comments below what your most rage quitted game is. For Shot Colors Esports, I'm Matt Hempstead, Colin Mina. We'll catch you next time.